Hello everyone, it's good to see you all again. We finally get to make a video on Dreamcast Guy. Do you know how much of a great time this will be? Even then, it's not just Dreamcast Guy. This entire week has been filled with salt over the recent news of them approving the Activision Blizzard deal. But keep in mind, this is not them approving the buyout. It just puts this heavily into Microsoft's favor. Necessarily, I don't see that as a bad thing. They have committed to bring it to other platforms that have never had the chance to play COD. And I see that as nothing but a benefit to the user. On top of that, it's all coming to Game Pass for dirt cheap. That is a fucking huge benefit. But that is it. Let's go take a look at Dreamcast Guy's video of him coping. Microsoft has won. No, they haven't. It just puts it heavily into their favor. They're going to be able to buy Activision Blizzard for $69 billion. This deal has been cooking for over a year now, but there's been a bunch of legal roadblocks. Can you buy a company that big? It yes, you should be allowed to buy a company that big. If the company puts themselves up for sale and want to be bought out, they should be allowed to be bought. Is this a monopoly? No, it is not a monopoly and it never will be. People that keep saying that are fucking insane. From a AAA standpoint, yes, it could be considered, but to the wider gaming audience, no, it is nothing like a monopoly. You would have to buy fuck tons of indie studios to be considered a monopoly. Until the majority of the games that you see are being published by a certain studio, for example, Microsoft, Sony, Embracer Group, then it will be a monopoly. Simple. Yeah. These are actual questions that had to be argued in court, and now the first of the final findings have just been submitted, and it sounds like it's definitely getting approved. No shit. They've won. Team PlayStation, for all their pushback, for all their complaints, it looks like Sony is taking an L that they really didn't want to take. But let's discuss this. Sony brought this on themselves. Do not say... Sony was in the right, they were not. The simple fact is, Microsoft offered them two different deals to my knowledge about keeping COD on PlayStation for a certain length of time, and Sony refused, saying it was not a good enough offer. Microsoft was not obligated to give Sony that deal at all. They did that knowing that COD is a huge moneymaker, and putting it on PlayStation, or removing it from PlayStation, would be a bad idea. PlayStation, in a pretty shitty state where they now have to compete in the shooter space instead of buying exclusivity rights for a shooter. Now they either have to use existing franchises, for example Destiny, revive certain franchises, or just make a new one outright. It's as simple as that and could be a big benefit for the PlayStation player if they actually get some good shooters out. What's up gamers, Dreamcast guy here. Hi, hope you're having a great day. If you could like this video and subscribe if you haven't already. I'm making this video before I had my coffee, so if I flub any words, be sure to mock me in the comments. So here we have what is essentially a finalized legal document by the UK government. Over in the United Kingdom, they have this special group called the CMA means like the consumer market advocacy it is their job to protect people from evil gigantic companies i think sony's pretty fucking evil locking me out of certain franchises i want to play on pc or something you know still waiting no conclusions now the deal is technically not done uh the deal is going to be finalized on april 30th but at this point they're definitely giving their legal thumbs up now their final provisional findings are, are basically the fact that Sony in court kept saying, okay, what happens if Call of Duty becomes exclusive? What if, I mean, technically, Microsoft legally had the ability to release a bad version of Call of Duty on PlayStation to try and screw them over? Or Dreamcast guy, do you not realize that Sony has been giving us a lesser version of COD on Xbox and PC? Those little exclusivity rights, those little game modes that are only exclusive on PlayStation, or certain things that are excluded to one platform, gives everyone else a lesser version. Can you see the problem? Sony has been giving us a lesser version. To my knowledge, Microsoft has committed to going full content parity with each platform COD is going to. 
meaning no platform will be missing out on content. To my knowledge, they may have changed. Or maybe only release parts of the campaign. Like, there was nothing stopping Microsoft from completely just screwing over Call of Duty fans on PlayStation, technically. And what has Sony been doing to everyone else on every other platform while their platform as a whole gets exclusive game modes on launch, usually? Pretty fucking annoying not being able to play Spec Ops. But they did a bunch of investigations, and the official legal findings from the court is that Microsoft wouldn't do that. Call of Duty makes so many billions and billions and billions of dollars. And did you just realize, Dreamcast guy, how important COD is to a platform, especially if they hold exclusivity rights over it? It makes billions. No exclusive can make as much money as COD does on a yearly basis. I think people will find this analogy pretty fucking gay, so uh, it's the equivalent of the Krabby Patty secret formula. That is how much money it makes. And according to their evidence, they say that's the point, <laughs> is that Microsoft doesn't want to ruin Call of Duty, they want the billions of dollars. They're not actually interested in destroying any bit of Sony's market value. No shit that would make them lose a lot of money. Now, what I find interesting is that they actually specifically say here, their biggest contention is that Sony kept saying that if Microsoft owns Activision specifically, this would hurt competition. Essentially, Sony has admitted that this is just something, it's so big that- What, it's so big competing with Call of Duty? Yes, Call of Duty is the top shooter. No shooter is as well refined as Call of Duty. It's gonna be hard, but if you pull it off and make a successful competitor, you will be able to make billions having a competitor, meaning COD will have to improve. Can you see? There is only a benefit. It's called competition. They don't know how to keep up. Like, at least in the first-person shooter genre, PlayStation is saying, okay, like, how do we directly compete with Call of Freaking Duty, the top-selling game every single year? Simple. Make a shooter that gets built up over time and slowly becomes comparable to Call of Duty. It has an engaging replay loop. It has that same engaging formula that COD has, or adds its own spin on that formula. If it can do that, it can become comparable and maybe overtake COD, making a constant feedback loop of them building off of each other and improving. There is only a benefit. PlayStation just needs to put some money down to do it. Just don't have a repeat of when they tried to compete with Halo and failed miserably. And the UK government, essentially they're saying, I, it still seems like a fair deal. It seems like this won't really hurt competition. You've got SOCOM, you've got Killzone, make your own freaking shooters. Is kind and that's what they should be doing. Fucking competing. I play my MMOs and a lot of my big exclusives on my freaking PlayStation 5. I think my concerns are still what happens in 10 years. Well, if you want to know what will happen, it's pretty simple. People will keep getting bought and new people will show up. It's very simple. I'm becoming a bit of an old man, <laughs> so I have definitely seen the rise and fall of companies. I've seen the 90s console wars. I've watched a lot of company trash talk. I'm just kind of curious what's going to happen if somebody like Tencent or Embracer Group just keeps buying up everything. If there is one group without a doubt that I believe could become a monopoly, it is Embracer Group. They have bought so many studios in the last couple of years, it is impressive how much they've done, and no one really knows who they are in a sense unless they do their research. But that is it for this video. We're pretty much done. Dreamcast guy pretty much ends off the video and goes on like a little tangent for a bit, but that is it. I am done. I'll see you all later. Join my Discord and subscribe or something, I don't know. Yeah, I need more people.